Hey everybody, Danny Griffin with another Monday Motivation. So, I remember a friend going through a very tough divorce at a young age. He seemed at the time to have the world by the tail. A Harvard MBA, a fantastic position as partner in a fast-growing company. Yet on the home front, he was devastated. You could really feel his pain if you got close enough. Otherwise, you would have had absolutely no idea and thought he was on top of the world. Well, one day we're talking about life and he said, you know, we all live along the edge of this abyss. Well, when I asked him what he meant, he explained that although people often appear to be far from harm's way, they're really only inches away from falling into the abyss of life. Now, for me, that was a very riveting moment and perhaps a point where I grew up out of a naive stage in my own life. It's very easy to be idealistic about your world and how it should be progressing, especially when you're young. And certainly a case should be made for encouraging idealists because after all, they're the visionaries who imagine a better place and force all the rest of us to raise our standards. However, without balance, idealism might be setting us up for a big crash as reality emerges. You don't have to go very far every day to hear the shocking stories of how people really treat each other. From financial swindling to physical and emotional abuse, people are taking advantage of each other all the time and it's no big secret. So why does it keep happening when all the warning signs are right there? Well perhaps there's a certain desperation that we all feel. I know we would never like to admit it, but perhaps the need for love and connection is so powerful that we'll delude ourselves to get a small taste of it. Join the group just to belong only to find out the joke was on you. Now how painful is that? To think you finally grabbed the brass ring only to find out that you were nothing more than somebody's muse? It's at that moment when the abyss becomes very visible. We realize that all along we were marching right along its edge, ready to fall in. In fact, it might not even be other people that force the realization upon us. It might just be the choices that we make. There's no doubt that we have the power to choose our actions and put ourselves closer to the edge. At some point, we all must reconcile whether we've made good or poor choices and then have a personal review in the mirror. And that's where we're confronted by the fork in the road. In one direction, there's a sign that says, abyss, closer than ever. In the other, there's one that says, welcome to the high road of realization that you're human. Enter this stage with humility and acceptance. In other words, it's okay to make mistakes and be beaten up by life. That's part of the human condition. So when you come to that point, realize that it was there all along waiting for you to choose. But why throw yourself into the abyss when all you have to do is turn back towards the firmer ground and continue on more aware than ever before? Hey, I'm Danny Griffin with another Monday Motivation brought to you by freethinkingtools.com asking you to think and thrive. And if you like these, do me a favor, like them, share them, and comment especially so that I can give you my reactions. I'll see you next time on Monday Motivation.